No. Actually, yes. While I was in the Marine Corps, I don't think I felt like a hero. Yeah, I might have lost sight of why I was there too. Just caught up in the mix of everything. And uh, I just feel like I got lost. I certainly got lost. My name is Aaron Long. Um, it's been given to me. I was named after my, my grandfather. Um, I've never known him. Never known him before. But um, so it doesn't does not have much meaning uh, to me. Uh, what would have more meaning is to be given a traditional name, a traditional Navajo name. Um, but uh, still young and still a lot of time left for a name to be given. I come from the Navajo Nation. They uh, have been through a rough patch and they, they've also contributed a great amount to, to this country. Uh, but we have, these, we have these clan systems that, that, that has broken down into four clans. So, so my first one would be Tortichini. And that's Bitterwater, Bitterwater clan. And so if I ever go out anywhere, someone else, another, another Navajo has these, has these clans and they can either be my brother, my sister, grandfather, grandparents. And so on. Um, right now, so I feel very disconnected from from from, from my tribe. And I don't like it. I joined the Marines um, on a, on two for two reasons. One of them was because there was this marine poster on one of my sister's door who is my cousin's sister and the second reason was a uh, was a movie that i had seen so uh i wanted to become a hero and wanted to prove myself really I wanted to prove that i could be a man and um i remember going in and trying giving giving it my all and and then and in, in failing. <laughs> so transitioning from the military into the student lifestyle again was, was more challenging than I um, acknowledged. There was an emotional uh, struggle as well in transitioning emotional struggle of um, not really having that purpose. In the university, it's, it's pretty common that I'll be the only native or in, in, in a lot of my classes. That showed me pretty much from here on out or pretty much for, for the rest of my life. That's, that's gonna be, I'll be that. I'll be that, that 1.2%, that, that two, that token. It's a way that I feel a part of it because of what I am. So being a part of the campus as in just being a student and this being the, the life that I've created around. So I, I work on campus, I class on campus, I, I eat on campus, just whole life's here on campus. Well, I wanna, after, after school, after this whole schooling process, um, I plan on providing a uh, schooling system for that's focused on indigenous indigenous teachings. And I'll, uh, ultimately, to create this life that is create the sustainable life that exists with uh, nature sustainably. I also see myself going into politics, going into politics and representing as a uh, as an American Indian for the Indian country. It's like you can you can do anything, you can you can do anything and everything. 
and uh, this is this is from my perspective as, <clears throat> and I can imagine um, what it would be like for someone younger who, who are for the youth even um, just to see how big the world really is for an American Indian Now, I'm in a different place. I'm a completely different person. I am Navajo, the Diné people, Todichitni, the Bitter Water Clan. And I know where I'm going. <laughs>